Guten Tag, Bot Dweller. Today I'm going to show you how to fall asleep. Not really, but it did make me doze off a few times. Probably because there were no explosions or severed limbs. So I'm going to go over how to multiply your materials for crafting and building. I, uh, cleared out Grey Garden just so I could do this, because my other settlements have plenty of materials. Um, when I start, I prefer to use three containers. Um, but I mean, you need at least two um, containers. One to store the stuff that's already in the workbench, and another one to store all the shipments. Um, I usually start out by taking just steel and wood shipments to multiply at first so that I can build the containers near the workbench. Um, this settlement had like no containers, but luckily there was already enough steel and wood that I could build three containers. And so I started by um, storing my steel and wood shipments because um, my first time getting into this workbench and so there was like, you know, stuff to deconstruct like alarm clocks and um, tin cans and whatnot. So, I, s I mean, you could just throw them out, but I ended up just separating the materials and then just went ahead and deconstructed the um, few pieces that were in there. Right now I'm just trying to figure out a place somewhere near the bench. But yeah, um, I use three containers because I the one nearest to the bench is where I just throw all the stuff that's already in the workbench. Uh, I use one container to store all the shipments, and then I have a third container that I use to place the shipments that I'm done using to multiply materials. That way, I don't have to scroll through them all. I can just take the top four uh, shipments, and then when I'm done with them, place them in the third container and back and forth. That way, they don't get all mixed up, right? Get confused and everything. But everybody has their own way of doing things. This is just mine. Um. So it doesn't matter how many um, shipments you have. I have two of some, three of others, and I don't know, a couple shipments that I have four of. The more shipments you have, of course, the faster the multiplying is going to go. Um, let's check. Let's see. What was I getting at? Oh yeah, so... Yeah, I don't use over four at a time. It doesn't matter if you have, like... Um... Four steel, three adhesive, two screws, and two gold. It doesn't matter um, how many of each. Just four different types of material shipments. Um, you could do five. I don't chance it, because when I first started, you know, random stuff like corn or whatever crops are growing on that settlement will randomly get, you know, or water will randomly get thrown into the workbench. Um, and so, if that happens, it's gonna ask you, are you sure you want to, you know, 
take all of this out of the bench and at that point it takes way too much time and it'll take your shipments and you'll lose them and that is another reason why to save or quick save often um, I usually go halfway so like the lowest amount I get at a time is 50 um, because I'll have a shipment of 25 fiber optics and I'll have two of them so it's 50 at a time everything else is either 50 or more at a time each time you multiply and so I'll go to like 2000 something of that lowest material and then I'll quick save and then I'll go to 4000 and then I'll just pull it out store it in the container next to the workbench go put away the shipments I just used and grab four more types of shipments and just continue the process and it will bore you because you're just sitting there spamming X Y X X Y X X Y X or whatever your controls may be and so because you gotta hit X to open the workbench Y to throw your all your junk which hopefully you know is just your shipment so you don't you don't want any other junk in your inventory but the shipments um, that you're using to multiply so hopefully you just have the four um, shipments in your junk inventory and so you hit Y to store all your junk and then you within half a second hit X to pull them all out um, simultaneously this way it recognizes that you have shipments and so it gives you the materials for those shipments for the shipment you purchased but then you quickly withdraw it so you still hold on to the shipment you can just keep multiplying and multiplying it's okay if you hit Y and then X too quick because then it's just gonna pull um, it's just gonna pull out what um, you had in there but if you go too slow or if it asks you to confirm if you want to take all of this stuff out then you're gonna lose your shipments and have to go back to your last save or go buy more <laughs> yeah so I start with steel and wood so that I can build the containers near the workbench and I just stack them up and then I go get the rest and then I just go four by four um, I'll give an example of at the end here of you know if you use six shipments at a time because then it asks you to confirm and you'll lose your shipments and again if you use five I mean, it works, but if something else gets thrown in the workbench from your settlement, then that'll just mess it up and it'll take your shipments away. I mean, so you can gamble with it if, you know, if you so choose. Yeah, so, you know, we watching here how much fun this is to sit there in a synchronized spam spamming x y x x y x x y x over and over again while just sitting there staring at the number until you get it wherever you want and shipments are expensive and so like I wanted at least two of each that way you know I wasn't doing 25 at a time um, it would be nice to have more but um, takes a lot of caps they really stack up because these shipments could be anywhere from like 800 to like 1500 caps and so um, like if you watched a previous video uh, on his Dan's caps exploits you know so you can get just spam him that's boring too but you can just spam him and just load up on caps go to the other video that shows the locations for the shipments grab you know however many uh, shipments you have the caps for you know whatever um, uh, you know if you want to spam Dan for like hours and then just get tons of shipments so you can multiply a lot more a lot faster that's your choice 
and um so yeah go you know get the caps get the shipments multiply your shipments and then um you know your size meter and your settlement's gonna run out fast and so you gotta deconstruct things so you can lower the size meter and continue to build um I'll probably be doing a short video later showing um, water purification systems because if you do this method, if you get the caps exploit, you get the shipments and you multiply your materials and then you can just build water purification systems like crazy on like Spectacle Island or the castle or wherever and then you can relieve yourself of Honest Dan because you can get thousands of um, purified water each game day which each bottle of water when I looked sold for 13 caps each so if you're getting like 2,000 something purified waters a day then you're set on caps and you can relieve yourself of Dan you can obviously tell how boring this is um, over and over again. I mean, I don't know. I mean, building seems to be a big feature for most people. Um, I know it was for me. Um, I mean, that was the only reason I played The Sims. Not to do family stuff, but just to build... So when I started looking into this stuff, it was, you know, it was nice to find out because building, uh, for me, is extremely time-consuming. And, you know, I, I love to venture out and, you know, into the Commonwealth and the Wasteland and everything, but, I mean, with the amount of time it'll take to do all of that, to get all the materials, is just ridiculous. And not just building, half the time actually building is spent deconstructing to lower the size minute so you can build as, you know, big as you want. Alright, and right here is the example of what happens if you use six uh, types of shipments at a time. And there it is. And there they go lost forever until you reload or buy more. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I'm not quite sure. I guess we'll find out. And then I'll have to write it in the description or something. I'm just showing, you know, that's the container where, you know, um, I put the shipments when I'm done. And that's how many of each type of shipment I have. The shipment I originally, the container I put the shipments in originally is empty because I'm done. I'm putting all the materials back in the workbench so you can start building and showing how, you know, it stacks up. Um, with the settlements I have unlocked, I went around and did, did this exploit to all of them. Uh, I have local leader, I just haven't linked them yet. I figure it'll save me time later once I do link them, or just, you know, endless supplies of materials. And I'm just showing, you know, materials are there. Here's stuff to build. This is copper and nuclear material and all that stuff. It's just you know, adhesive, whatever. It's not that easy to come by. And now you can just build to your heart's content. So much power, so much generators, so many laser turrets.